Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for February the 17th, 2022. So yeah, how are you going with the full moon in Leo energy? It's actually been really nice here. Where I live, I overlook a valley and I've got a balcony that on dusk watches the moon rise. So I've been sitting out, we've got some fairy lights, I've been sitting out uh, and just watching the moon, the full moon, and it's actually really, really magical, very beautiful. And then this morning I went for a walk along the beach, so I've been really connecting in with this moon energy actually, which has been very nice, very calm and uplifting. So, yeah, interesting. We'll see what is coming in. Of course, it's going to affect everybody differently. I think this particular moon is probably... Is probably having a nice little <laughs> conversation with my son in Leo. So it's actually not bad. It's not bad for me, but it's going to be different for all of you. This is a general reading. So we're just going to ask what general energies are around, how you're experiencing this, what sort of uh, effects and fallouts and information is coming from the full moon energy in Leo and what does everybody need to know today? So <laughs> the Nine of Swords, yes, this is uh, interesting. The Nine of Swords can be what's going on inside your mind. Pay attention to that. It can sometimes be like what I'm kind of getting with this is that it can be sleepless nights. It can be pay attention to the dreams that you've been having. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles, okay, <laughs> there's something new coming in here. Oh, look at this, the Ace of Cups next to the Ace of Pentacles. So there might be a little bit of stress and worry as well with this Nine of Swords or a bit of overthinking. It's saying logical mind at this point is not going to be particularly helpful. <laughs> we can see with that Nine of Swords. But look at all this amazing, beautiful energy coming in. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, the Six of Pentacles. So uh, beautiful. There's some new fresh energy coming in, some healing some love, a new opportunity that is, yeah, grounding down into a reality, bringing a little bit more money, bringing balance, asking you to step into an area, into an energy of leadership with your life, creative leadership for some of you with the King of Wands and the Page of Swords. So in terms of your rational mind, your logical mind, uh, your thoughts, get more information coming in. There's more coming in with this Page of Swords energy. So, uh that's why, you know, this energy can like be keeping you awake at night, like we said, waking up at 3 a.m. or that kind of energy. But it's saying the full, you know, even though there's new energy, the Ace of Pentacles is showing you something new that is birthing. There's, you know, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, something that is bringing a very emotional energy, but it's something that could bring some joy and happiness, which is actually really lovely. Um, but it's also got a sense of it's wanting to, have an effect on your reality as well. It's something that's grounding into reality. It's something that could be affecting your financial world. And in general, I'm getting the words affecting your material world and your sense of abundance, your sense of balance in that world. So this is actually a really nice energy to come to, but there's something that uh, what I'm being told is that that seed that was conceived in the Aquarius new moon, which sometimes we don't know exactly what that is, you're going to be given a fairly clear vision of what this is here with this Ace of Pentacles. And it's like, ah, now it makes sense. Now I can see it. I've spent a lot of time thinking and working something through. There's the solutions coming in. You're getting the messages and answers to doing, stepping into a new energy, starting something new that is a solution for you in terms of money and balance in your life. Uh, and it's saying you're the, you're the boss here. You're the boss of your world. You're the boss of this life. And um, even though, yes, it is there wants you to have a very open and curious mind as to some of the information and learning that's coming through. It's saying you've got something, a much clearer picture here now, and there's something practical that you can uh, apply this to uh, in your life. And so you are the master manifester. You're the visionary of your life. So it, again, it's a sense of there's it's being very supported, whatever this is, this new energy that's coming through for you. The universe is saying, you've got, you got the things now to do it. you got what you need. You've got enough to kind of move forward with it. So 
uh, start and and uh, yes, yeah, step into this and stop worrying about it <laughs> is kind of the energy that comes through with that nine of swords. Yes, there's more that you, for some of you, this is thinking of studying and learning. So studying something new might be thinking, oh, I need a qualification or some skills in order to be making money, bringing more money in. Uh, it could be anything, but I do feel like it's something that uh, you're getting very strong message, something pragmatically that uh, could really help the balance in your life on your material realm. So that's to do with the giving and receiving of relationships, uh, where you're living, your money, your home, your career. So all of those things. And so, yeah, it feels like it's suddenly making something suddenly makes sense. It's like, okay, the universe is saying there's nothing stopping you except for your own mind. Yeah, we've you've got everything that you need to move forward. And so... Even though there's, yeah, you are learning more and getting more information, it's just a very much like here it is and what do you want to do with it? <laughs> so, and it feels good, actually feels like something solid. Uh, so that's nice. A bit of healing around it because I think it might take away some of the worries uh, to do with something on a material realm, on your human realm. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I think it's a really fabulous energy to something you can really start working on and start uh, putting some energy into. So that's it. That's the energy. And I feel like this is, you know, what you've got out of the full moon because the full moon is, you know, it's illuminates something. It's a culmination of something. And it's kind of like we've shown you something and it's something quite real and tangible and solid. Now move forward with it. So it's a much clearer picture. So that's it. Thanks so much for joining me and look forward to seeing you tomorrow.